my name is Becca. And I'm Jenna. I'm Brianna. And I'm Simon. And we are all seniors at Gretna High School. We hear you. Not too many of you over there. <laughs> and uh, this is called Sex Ed. Abstinence only sex education. Everybody's, Everybody's favorite. favorite. You know how it goes. We are separated into boys and girls. Marched into small rooms. And given the, the talk. The biennial reminder that every choice we make is the wrong one. So, dear, dear sex, sex educators. Thank you. No, really, thank you. Thank you for teaching us about how girls are spaghetti and boys are waffles. What? what? That's real science. Something with our brains. Something about how girls just can't keep it together. And boys are emotionless freaks. I didn't realize that gender was comparable to food groups. Dear sex educators, thank you for comparing my sexual worth to the stickiness of tape. The more I exercise it, the less valuable I am. I really felt like there was a strong bond between us. I continued to warm up to you when you explained about how girls who have sex don't respect themselves. Girls, girls who have sex think about nothing else. Girls who have sex are always completely miserable. Dear sex educators, thank you for enlightening us about how boys are logical, but girls have feelings. Like it's only one or the other, never both. Thank you for reminding us how different we are, how important it is that we are segregated. We noticed when you gave us separate classes. Dear sex educators, thank you for telling us that if I get lucky, it's all our fault because my shirts are too low and my skirts are too high. And guys are just raging hormones like, like kids in a candy shop, dogs in a steakhouse. You can't expect them to think for themselves. They're just animals. They, they can't, can't control, control it. it. Thank you for teaching us to be afraid of men. Dear sex educators, thank you for saying at the start of every sentence, there's, there's no shame in this room. But for proceeding to shame us for our clothes, our, our piercings, piercings, our personalities. Thank you for telling us there's no shame in making us feel worthless. Dear sex, sex educators, thank you for proving to us that anything we do can and will be used against us. But I hope you understand that your singular use of shaming and shocking doesn't work anymore. We are aware of the implications of our actions, and we are aware that what you are telling us is just, just not true. true. You are not the defining deities of our daily lives. Now linger in our thoughts when we choose what to say, what, what to wear, how, how to, to act. act. But truly, abstinence-only abstinence education. education. We don't need others to validate who we are. You see us as you want to see us. But you cannot condense our lives. To satisfy your conscience. Let us live our lives, regardless of how we, you lived yours. Because in the end, you, you have, have made, made a, a difference. difference. Just not the one you wanted, and, and not, not the, the one, one we need. need.